Hello from Zagreb, my name is Paul Bradbury from Total Croatia News and here is an overview of the news from Croatia this week, powered by Pixel. The Slovenian government has decided to introduce border controls with Croatia and Hungary. This measure was first announced by Italy to Slovenia and then by Slovenia to Croatia. The decision came into force on October 21st for a period of 10 days. Internal border control is currently applied by nine European Union member states due to increased migrant movements and terrorism as a consequence of the situation in the Middle East. In Croatia, 26,000 pigs have been euthanized so far due to African swine fever, which is 2.5% of the total stock of these animals. The total value of the government measures adopted so far to combat swine fever is 30 million euros, and Prime Minister Plenković also announced new grants for pig farmers. Apart from Croatia, the disease is currently present in Greece, Bulgaria, Romania, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Serbia. Of the 12 arrested for singing Ustasha songs at the qualifying match between Croatia and Turkey in Osijek, 11 of them were wrongly convicted and for one, the video recording, which was the main evidence in court, will be examined. Some received 30 days in jail and some received suspended sentences. All were released after questioning. State Road DC403, which connects the western part of the port of Rijeka and the Zagreb coast with the Rijeka bypass and the Škurinja traffic junction, worth around 70 million euros was put into use on Wednesday. It is a high-speed road that passes through a densely populated area of the city with the primary purpose of connecting the new port terminal with the highway. The road was officially opened by Prime Minister Andrei Plenković. In the match of the fifth round of Group A of the Handball Champions League, Zagreb beat Eurofarm Pelister 27-18 in the arena, registering their second victory, while the Macedonian team recorded its fifth defeat. It was Zagreb's first game under the leadership of new coach Nenad Šoštaric, who took over the Croatian handball champions on Tuesday. Award-winning rapper, television producer and actor 50 Cent performed in Arena Zagreb. He arrived in Zagreb as part of the Big World Tour, the final lap tour, and he was supported on stage by Busta Rhymes and Jeremy. The concert in Zagreb is his only visit to the region on this tour. In Versi, near Zadar, the filming of the series Day of the Jackal began, in which Eddie Redmayne plays the main role. The Oscar-winning and one of the most famous English actors is the protagonist of the series based on the novel of the same name by Frederick Forsyth. In addition to the Zadar area, parts of the series are also filmed in Rijeka, Dubrovnik and Istria, 